Good morning everyone, it's Sunday and as always it's range test time. This is the Volkswagen ID7 Touro Pro S with the big battery, 91 kilowatt hours, usable 86 kilowatt hours and today we're going to do a range test at 130 kilometers an hour, then a charging test and then a 110 kilometers an hour range test. I charged to 100%, it's already full, I preheated the battery, I preheated the, the cabin and now we're going to drive, it's around 8.5 degrees, it's going to be 14 degrees today but not on the 130 drive, maybe on the 110. Um, this car is 19 inch wheels on and a heat pump, so except that it is a Tura, it's the most efficient ID7 you can have. Uh, and with the big battery. The big battery gives you more range but it's not as efficient. We tested it yesterday against Hank and Hank had 6% less consumption but the Tourer uh, usually we tested that before is 1.6% higher consumption so 4.4% <laughs> uh, less consumption uh, more consumption than the, the small battery because it's more weight but I have to go. Let's go! I am on my way driving 133 on this beautiful head-up display um, because uh, that's not GPS speed. 133 should be it. I don't know why it's driving 132 right now. That's okay. I'm in uh, comfort mode or individual mode. Drive is in comfort because it's always a problem to drive above 130. With that, eco mode uh, limits you to 130 and you have to do some trickery to drive faster in eco mode, but I don't want to do that. Too lazy and everything. My uh, climate is in 22 and a half degrees auto, but just the driver, rear, uh, rear seats and the passenger seat is not being heated. Consumption is high right now because of uphill the first 10 kilometers. Started at 100%. Um, seat heater is on too because that's just nice. I have all the annoying things off, lane assist and speed limit warning. Nobody needs that. <laughs> and yeah, let's drive on uh, and see what range we get. I'm excited to find out. I'm at 75% and drove, it was 92 kilometers, that would mean 368 kilometers full range. Consumption is 224, that's a bit high. I have the heat now on 23 because it's cold and uh, uh, my seat heater on full. Uh, it was 4 degrees before outside that it's freezing, <laughs> even got the freezing warning. And, and it's still foggy. I'm at 50% and I drove 187 kilometers. That would mean a full range of 374 kilometers. Average uh, speed is amazing. Average consumption 223. In these conditions, it's okay with heat at 23, seat heater on full, and it's still six and a half degrees out there. So the lowest was four and the highest uh, was wasn't it eight even? I don't remember. No, it was before we drove. So it, it really got extremely cold. It will get warm, but later it's still a bit foggy. Drive other than that is amazing. Um, I don't have to slow down, don't have to speed up. Not a lot of traffic Sunday morning as always. I love it.
I'm on my way back. I have 115 kilometers to the Georgia, 169 kilometers of range. What is that? 54 uh, kilometers of margin. Car thinks I will arrive with 12%. I'm at 37% now. Um, it should be fine. Um, I'm right now in the 120 zone, so I have to drive 130. What's really interesting in the Pro S is you don't feel at all that it's a heavier battery. I don't know how much heavier the car is, but I don't notice it with driving. I don't notice it in comfort. I don't notice it in corners. It's, it's awesome. So the big battery is really cool. Gives you more range. With Hank in the winter, I wouldn't have been able to drive that far for sure but I, uh, with nine kilowatt hours more i hope that's that's more possible <laughs> yep i'm driving back and then we'll see what we get range still six and a half degrees outside If you need a charging solution for your trip through your country all through all of Europe, then Mangau Autostrom got you covered. With Mangau, you can charge at over 550,000 charging stalls all over Europe. You can start your charging process with a card, with the app, or with a tiny little chip that's so light and easy you can have it on your keychain. Check them out in the link in the description below. I arrived with 9% and drove 349 kilometers google maps says it's 351 average consumption 218 watt hours per kilometer when i take the 100 percent to 9 percent that i drove and that i drove 351 kilometers i get to a full range of 387 kilometers in these conditions four to what was it now nine degrees at the end a heat on 23 degrees but i turned the fan pretty low at the end also but in the morning it was pretty cold like i said four degrees and i got the freezing warning and all of this and but it has summer tires 19 inch wheels on it's the tourer with the big battery so <laughs> that's what you get and it's awesome i'm doing a charging test right now i'm excited to see 200 kilowatt where my id7 only gets 191 as a peak that's awesome um, i can't wait to analyze this charging data i'm not looking at it now i want to be surprised it's awesome um, but i'm charging to 90 percent and then we're going to do the next range test at 110. so let's compare this range to other cars that are similar and we see here right away that the outside temperature and if you use heat is just an amazingly big impact. Today we had 386 kilometers with 19 inch wheels where I used the heat at four to eight and a half degrees. At a Tura Pro, so with the smaller battery, I got 363 kilometers of range at 90 to 20, 19 to 23 degrees. And these had 20 inch sport tires which use 8% no on the tour even 10% more so way higher consumption so the range would have been the same but it was 90 to 23 degrees with no heat and no AC and the other and with the Pro S right now it was just cold with my ID7 personally on the best day 20 to 24 degrees I got even lower consumption look at that 174 and I got 428 kilometers of range uh, in June and for example with the 20 inch what is this in the winter with my car i only got 304 kilometers of ranges minus one to plus one degree also with 23 degrees heat so you see the temperature difference and if you use heat is just enormous we we here 15 to 19 degrees was with the id4 gtx all-wheel drive version also 77 kilowatt hours and I had 230 watt hours per kilometer, which was a high consumption, but not that far off to my ID7 in the winter. This is interesting. So great temperature in May to December, very cold, almost the same consumption. 
<laughs> and I don't have a heat pump. That's very important. And with the ID4 Pro, I had even lower consumption, but it was 8 to 10 degrees. The, those difference here is around 7, 7%, 7, 8% between the all wheel drive to the rear wheel drive only. But 386 kilometers in these conditions are awesome. And we already tested Hank against at my ID7 against this and it's around 6% more if you get the sedan it's 4.4% higher consumption though so 428 kilometers in perfect condition which will result in 465 kilometers of possible range at 130 kilometers an hour with the Pro S. If you want to follow me on Instagram, Battery Life One, and if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's also channel membership. And if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes, I have a third YouTube channel behind the battery. But that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.